हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सेक्शन फॉर्मूला फॉर इंटरनल डिविजन इन थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री सेक्शन फॉर्मूला इफ इन अ टू डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री वी हैव स्टडीड how to find the coordinates of a point dividing a line segment in the given ratio internally now today we are going to extend this to three dimensional geometry as follows to begin this section formula let me take two given points p x1 y1 z1 and q x2 y2 z2 and let r be the point having the coordinates x y z which divides pq in the ratio m is to n internally now we have to draw pn qm and rn perpendicular on the or in the xy plane the points l m and n lie on the line these three points lies on the line will lie on a line which is the intersection of the plane containing pl rn and qm with xy plane through the point r that is this point r we draw a line st we are draw a line st this is the line st parallel to the line lm line st will intersect the line lp externally at the point s and the line mq at t as shown in the adjoining figure also note that the quadrilateral l n r s this is l n r s and n m t r n m t r r parallelograms the triangle p s r and q t r the triangle p s r and q t r are similar therefore m by n is equal to p r divided by q r that is equal to sp divided by q t but p r is nothing but or sp is nothing but p r is nothing but sp sp is nothing but sl minus pl q r is nothing but q t and q t is nothing but q m minus t m this implies that our sl is parallel to nr therefore sl is replaced by nr minus pl qm as it is tm is parallel to nr therefore qm minus nr but nr is nothing but the coordinates of the point z of that point r that is z minus z1 divided by z2 minus nr is again our z therefore it is z2 minus z therefore we have the expression z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z is equal to mn therefore by simplification we have z is equal to m z2 plus n z1 divided by m plus n similarly by drawing the perpendiculars to the xz and yz planes we get the y coordinate my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n and x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n hence the coordinates of the point r which divides the line segment joining the two points p and q internally in the ratio m is to n is given by r is equal to 
r is equal to the x coordinate of the point r is mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n and mz2 plus nz1 divided by m plus n if the point r divides externally this is the above formula is for internal division and if that point r divides pq externally in the ratio m is to n then its coordinates obtained by replacing n by minus n so that the coordinates of the point r will be mx2 minus nx1 that is r is equal to mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n my2 minus ny1 divided by m minus n and mz2 minus nz1 divided by m minus n these are the coordinates of the point of division r which divides the line joining pq externally the coordinates of the midpoint in case r is the midpoint of the line joining pq then m is to n is equal to 1 is to n so that x will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and z is equal to z2 plus z1 or z1 plus z2 divided by 2 these are the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment joining the pq the note number 2 or we can say the corollary 2 the coordinates of the point r which divides pq in the ratio k is to 1 are obtained by taking k as m by n which are as given below that is r is equal to sometimes what happens in the problem section the ratio is asked and the remaining things will be given to you in that case the ratio m by n will be taken it as k and we write the formula or the coordinates of the point of r which divides pq kx2 plus x1 divided by 1 plus k ky2 plus y1 divided by 1 plus k kz2 plus z1 divided by 1 plus k generally this result is used in involving the problems involving the general point on the line passing through the two given points now with the help of this derivation and these two remark we are going to solve one or two examples dear students let me begin with the first question find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the p point 1 minus 2 3 and q 3 4 minus 5 or we can denote these two points as notation a and b also in the ratio 2 is to 3 we have to solve the coordinates of the point of the division internally as well as for external division let me begin with for internal division before that let me denote let capital a is equal to 1 minus 2 3 and b is equal to 3 4 minus for you be the two line joining points and let p divides a b internally in the ratio 2 is to 3 we are solving the problem or we are finding the coordinates of the point of division for internally in the ratio 2 is to 3 then the x coordinate of the point of division is given by the formula m is our 2 and n is 3 therefore mx2 m is 2 x2 is 3 plus nx1 n is 3 x1 is 1 therefore it is 3 into 1 divided by m plus n that is 2 plus 3 therefore it gives 2 into 3 plus 3 into 1 divided by 2 plus 3 which is equal to 9 by 5 similarly the y coordinate of the point of division m is 2 y2 is 4 plus n is 3 y1 is minus 2 divided by m plus n that is 2 plus 3 therefore it gives by simplification it is 2 divided by 5 the y coordinate of the point of division is 2 by 5 similarly the, the z coordinate of the same division that is m is 2 z2 is minus 5 plus n is 3 z1 is 3 divided by m plus n therefore it gives minus 1 by 5 thus the required points our required point of division is 9 by 5, 2 by 5 and minus 1 by 5. Now let me solve the example for the external division. Let P, X, Y, Z be the point which divides the line segment AB externally in the same ratio 2 is to 3. 
therefore the coordinates of the point of division is given by the formula x is equal to that is x is equal to 2 into 3 minus that is m into x2 minus n is over 3 into x1 divided by m minus n that is 2 minus 3 after simplification that gives it is 2 3 is a 6 minus 3 divided by minus 1 that gives plus 3 divided by minus 1 is minus 3 similarly the y coordinate of the point of division is m is 2 y2 is 4 minus n is 3 y1 is minus 2 divided by 2 minus 3 that gives minus 14 similarly the z coordinate of the point of division m is 2 z2 is minus 5 minus of n is 3 z1 is 3 divided by 2 minus 3 therefore that gives 19 therefore the required point of point is or the coordinates of the point of divisions are minus 3 minus 14 and 19 using the section formula prove that the points the three points 1 2 and 3 are collinear means you have to show that these three given points are lies on the same line show that these points are collinear let a is equal to minus 4 6 10 b is 2 4 6 c is 14 0 minus 2 with the three given points let the point p divides a b in the ratio k is to 1 therefore the coordinates of the point p are this 2k minus 4 divided by k plus 1 that is ratio will be taken it as m by n is equal to k therefore here we can write it is uh, mx2 that is k by 1 we take here m is uh, k and n is 1 therefore we write it is uh, we can write this as m is our k x2 is 2 therefore 2k minus n is 1 and x1 is minus 4 therefore minus 4 divided by k plus 1 Likewise, the y coordinate will be 4k plus 6 divided by k plus 1 and z coordinate will be 6k plus 10 divided by k plus 1. Let us examine whether for the sum value of k, the point P which coincides with the point C. The coordinates of the point C are here it is 14, 0 and minus 2. Therefore, we have to see that uh, we have to equate the coordinates x y z coordinates separately so that we get the value of k on putting 2k minus 4 divided by k plus 1 is equal to 14 and after simplification we get k is equal to minus 3 by 2 therefore here k is nothing but m divided by n which is equal to minus 3 divided by 2 therefore the point p divides in the ratio minus 3 by 2 Here, when k is minus 3 by 2, then 4k plus 6 divided by k plus 1, by replacing the value of k, we get the y coordinate as a 0. Similarly, we equate with the z coordinates, we get and replacing the k value as minus 3 by 2, we get the z coordinate of the point c is minus 2. Therefore, c is equal to 14, 0, minus 2 is a point which divides a, b externally in the ratio 3 is to n. 3 is to 2. Hence the given points A, B and C are collinear. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points 4, 8, 10 and 6, 10 minus 8 is divided by the YZ plane. Now in this case, my dear students, let yz plane divide the line segment AB at P xyz in the ratio k is to 1. Since we should find the ratio in which the point divides the line joining point AB, then the ratio will be taken it as k is to 1. Then the coordinates of the point P are given by the formula P is equal to 4 plus 6k divided by k plus 1. 8 plus 10k divided by k plus 1 and 10 minus 8k divided by k plus 1. This is by the formula like mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n. Similarly, we write the y coordinate and z coordinate. By using that formula for internal division, we write the coordinates of the point of P. 
since the point p lies on the yz plane its x coordinate is zero therefore the x coordinate of the point of division is 4k plus sorry 4 plus 6k divided by k plus 1 that we equate with a zero and we will solve for k we get k is equal to minus 2 by 3 the negative sign indicates the direction in which internally or externally it divides therefore the therefore the yz plane divides ab externally in the ratio 2 is to 3 Dear students, I hope you understood the today's theorem and their examples. With this, I conclude my today's lecture. If you have any queries, please contact the given below number. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.